Ready? <gasps> oh my god, can I do- <laughs> Why is- <laughs> Why did he get levitated like that? Come back, let me love you, let me love you. Hey, how's it going, friends? My name is Angel Alex, and welcome back to the channel. And today, we are gonna be playing Hogwarts Legacy. I am, a, like, a small Harry Potter fan. I took the Pottermore quiz, and I got uh, Hufflepuff the first time I took it. And then I took it another time and I got Gryffindor. And then I took it another time because of the game and I got Hufflepuff again. So we're gonna be going Hufflepuff this route. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, we are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witch Witchcraft and Wizardry. Term begins on 1st of September. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree of the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside of school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Elazar Fig to help you hone your spell casting before escorting you from London to the castle at the start of term feast and the sorting ceremony. Yours sincerely, Professor Weasley. All right. Here we go. All right, we're getting into the character customization. Oh god. All right, we're obviously going to be a female. Which one of these girls looks like me? All right, so I guess I'll just make my character real quick. So this is our character. It looks kind of like me. Got the same hairstyle at least. We got a nice eyebrow scar. Going with Angel Alex. Let's go ahead and start. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so, so British. quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me for all time beginning. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm -hmm. Of course. <sighs> Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. <laughs> I have Wonderful a dorky idea. smile. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Not at all, sir. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Who are these? Okay, so we're just getting escorted by these fine gentlemen. Avalanche. 
Ooh, the music. Here we go. Glad I caught you before you left for Scotland. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? That's me. Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. Mm -hmm. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? Goblin Rebellion. I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Of course, I'm gonna know how to open it. Whoa. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We did. Oh! Holy! Jesus! Oh my god. That was insane. Jesus, what a way to start. Squirrel, how cute. Oh my goodness, you're adorable. Are you alright? You're hurt. I do be hurting, sir. A bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Alright, down to heal. Slurp. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir? <sighs> where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir. If you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Alright. I don't like the shoes I'm wearing. <laughs> Alright. 
All right, we're in and out, boys. We're doing it, we're doing it. We're moving. Oh, look at this, dude. Wow. How far did that bookie take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. So, those ruins, do you think- The bookie was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Bruh, Uncharted? <laughs> We're gonna scale some rocks and shit? Oh shit, I'm moving now. Back to Mind Hogwarts. Oh, okay, I see. Woo woo, let's go, Why let's go. Why do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. Parkour. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few seems to have been lost to time. Look at these views. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. This way. <coughs> up, up, up. It's her. Why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful Ooh, homie, magic disappeared from the wizarding Wee. world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Ooh, are you gonna do some stuff, sir? Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. Oh, he just walked through me. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work oh, you're practicing. Yes. Focus on the center. How do I use my wand, sir? I'll tap R2 to perform a basic cast. <laughs> yeah. Solid. Excellent. All right, use the R to select the active target. Okay, some players prefer to select targets and move the avatar with the same stick by disabling camera relative to, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. I understand, I understand. Yeah. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Yeah, fuck you, pot. I'm destroying these these things. Ooh, hello. 47. I got a chest, BB. I got a chest, sir. We're close now. Yeah. It's just ahead. Smack that ass. Ooh, look at that. Steady yourself. So good, my guy. I'm proud of you. Almost there. <laughs> Harry Potter, sorry, pot. Harry Potter. <laughs> Beautiful. 
Smack Why that. would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That porky key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Mini map shows your surroundings with you in the middle. Objective. Press and hold up. Okay, gotcha. I figured that out already. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Hmm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Hello? Explore the ruins. Schmack, schmack. Schmack that along the floor. Schmack that. <laughs> it's over here. Professor, this statue. This may have been his home. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Uh, oh, what the fuck? Um, Professor, okay. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? This, this area is making my controller anything. vibrate very weirdly and it's again? tickling like me. The glow on the port key container. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Oh, where are we? I don't believe it. What? Oh, this man's asleep. Goblin boy? Question mark? Hello? Hello? <coughs> <laughs> Me too, my guy. Me too. Just a moment. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> uh, no <anything> here. <clears throat> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number twelve, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key. Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. I got seatbelts in this thing. Ooh, yes. How many volts are there in green? Oh my god, this is cool. Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. Ooh. You want to take a breath? A what? Oh! Before washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Yeah, this looks like so much fun. <laughs> These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. 
Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. All right. Oh my god, his big hands. What a cutie. <laughs> Vault number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. Oh, what does that look you're giving him? Professor, hmm? the armband the guard was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container? No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Does anybody know who's voicing the female like voice? Here we are. She kind of sounds like uh, Sophie Turner a little bit. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. Thank you, kind sir. You kind goblin, you. Please don't lock us in here. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might- The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. What did I just say? Good luck. <laughs> Professor? Okay. That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Please mm. do something. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Oh, God. Okay. Study your wand with L and guide it along the symbol to pet. Symbol's path to learn the spell. Press the corresponding input when prompted to accelerate your wand's motion. Oh god. Uh, this isn't making me nervous. There we go. Okay. I did it. Revelio. There! I saw something! Move a bit closer and try again. Alright, alright, alright. Ooh, that's cool. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the portkey container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Well, she... Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. <laughs> Hello? Spooky. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Oh. Oh, shit. Making me nervous. The hell? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. 
Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue. What statue? Uh, you don't see, I see shit. Some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelia. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Oh yes, teach me. Wait. Wait. Yeah. All right, require the one lighting charm. Uh, automatically been slotted. Lumos creates a light at the tip of your wand. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Hold R2 and then tab triangle. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Oh. Shit. Look out! Oh shit! Take oh shit! Let my guy. Ah, uh, I'm scared. What do I do? What do I do? Hit! 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 Oh shit! Okay, wait, 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 wait. Do it again. Do it again. There we go, there we go. Alright, alright, alright. I wish I could move a little quicker. Come on. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Stay close! <laughs> Professor, where are you? Hello, sir. This isn't good. Oh, fuck. Where am I supposed to go? Lumos. What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Oh, God. Every footstep I take, I can feel in my controller. It's crazy. Run, 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 run. That's where they're leading me. That glow again. Back here again. This time we got more. Revenia. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Oh, hello. I see your chest. Alright. Lumos. Oh, I see. Do I gotta turn him? No? Perhaps I need to get them Oh, I see right here. Light up. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. All right, let's go. Oh, shit. I forgot what the button is. There you go. I'm so cool. Quinn, bitch. Yeah. All right, hold triangle during Protego to stun enemies. Okay, counterattack, blah, 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 okay. 
Old shrine. Oh. Ow, I didn't see that coming. my finger because of the adaptive triggers. <laughs> Maybe if I hold R2? No, I don't even think I- oh! I can't hold R2, I gotta tap it. Oh! Y'all are cornering me. Let's go, let's go. Sprint. Yeah! Basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. Ooh. I wonder. Follow my lead. Like him a little bit, just with the longer beard. All is in place. The portkey is well hidden, perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We're special. We've done all that we can. What you're seeing the glow that surrounded them yes sir astonishing can i see magic traces of an ancient magic to be precise the magic that miriam had always believed existed but could never miriam and perhaps george died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. 
We were. It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. Oh shit! But sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. I don't like him. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. Oh, I, I like him. I Can we take him? That the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have it. No! Wow. I have no patience for traitors. What an ass. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Uh, no, sir. You're gonna get your nasty hands away from me. Ooh. Oh, shit. Boss fight time? Oh wait, unless he's on our side. Yeah. Oh, let's get the fuck out of here, please. You got this right, my guy? Oh shit. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Fig, you're scaring me. That was close. Oh. Hello? Oh. Oh. We're good. Are you all right? Fine, sir. Ooh. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both, wanted someone with your ability to end up here. <gasps> the music. Oh, I wonder if I'm going to get copyrighted Come. for this. Copyright we things. have a sorting ceremony to get to. Yes, please. I would love to get into my house and get into some comfy robes. Away from these booty goblins. Here we go, boys. Oh, look at that, dude. Oh, the train, the music. Oh. Yeah. Look at that. We made it. Hogwarts Legacy, baby. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. Thank God. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Uh, get me out of these shoes, now, though. I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Yes, sir. Ready. Up above, baby. Uh, 
Halo. Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Prepare yourself. I'm not sure how this is gonna work. I didn't link. I didn't link my Pottermore account because it didn't look like it let me. Fig. I kept nice saying internet connect connection issues. So the we'll see how this goes. Is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig. And I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. I hope this works out okay. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Hello. Yeah. Oh god, oh god, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Wait, I don't... I hope I'm level puff, but I, I didn't get to pick. expectations. Uh, I can't wait to start classes. I can't wait to explore. I'll answer truthfully. Uh, I can't wait to start classes. I can't wait to explore. Honestly, classes. I'm looking forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Mm. I wonder... Mm. I detect something in you. This man making me nervous. <laughs> a certain sense of... Mm. What is it? Loyalty. A sense of loyalty? I believe myself to be a true friend. I know I value that trait in others. Hmm. You do not give up easily, do you? Why is this you making me nervous, bro? You are daunted by challenges that lie ahead. And your loyalty to a friend delayed your arrival here this evening. Perhaps you belong in Hufflepuff. Hell yeah. Choose a different house, except... Hell yeah, baby. Hufflepuff house, known for patience, loyalty, and hard work. Except... Yes. The sort who makes an entrance. Better be Hufflepuff! Yeah. Look at us. Yeah. How cute. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Uh huh. Mm hmm. <laughs> yup. Enough. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether, but. Don't tempt me. So this is Simon Pegg, right? You are right? here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you will <laughs> have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. <laughs> Get out of here. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm- Professor Weasley. Would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? Yes, I please. I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Hello. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. How oh, nice. <gasps> yeah. 
Oh. <laughs> it's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of work, but I'm sure that's never stopped you before. It hasn't, Professor. Now, here we are at the entrance to the Hufflepuff Common Room. In here? This is the entrance. Indeed. I will explain what to do, but I hesitate to do it myself as one errant knock leads to being doused in vinegar. Most unpleasant. You must tap the barrel, two from the bottom, middle of the second row, in the rhythm of Helga Hufflepuff. Oh my lord, I'm gonna fuck this up. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh. Well done. <laughs> now go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. Yeah. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. All right, we're in, boys. We got our house. Look at us. Oh, looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. All right. Oh, look at the move moving paintings. Look at all the paintings. It's cute. I'm gonna steal the snacks. Stealing the snacks. Look at that. Dude, I hope they add Quidditch soon. I mean, it, will, it won't be soon, but I want it soon. Ooh, more food. Yeah, I'm gonna get all the snacks, please. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh my god. The hell? <laughs> Let's get moving then. Oh, I could just push the door open. All right. This is cute. Can I like just go in all these rooms? I can't. I could just, sn you know, snitch or not snitch, snoop. Aggressively push all these doors open. All these doors must be open. Look at that! Look at the boy! Uh, cute. Look at the animals. The cats. So cute. Oh, that was weird. I suppose some introductions are in order. Introduce yourself. I'm gonna steal one of your snacks. Alright. I'm a little nervous. I don't know anybody here. Oh. What did he just do? This place looks nice, there you though. Are. <laughs> there you are. <gasps> oh, let's talk to her. You got an owl. Oh, hello. She's awfully regal, isn't she? Is that your owl? I don't know who she is. Likely one of the Hufflepuffs around here. Owls choose their own company anyway. Wait, you're the new fifth year. Quite the dramatic entrance you made. Can't imagine wanting to call attention to yourself. Especially since everyone will be watching to see how much you already know. Uh, I'm not worried. I do have a lot to catch up on. I'm not gonna lie. I am a bit concerned. I have a lot of catching up to do. Indeed. Four years of schoolwork is a bit... Being that far behind, I'd feel so... Inadequate. Of course, presumably, as a hard-working Hufflepuff, you'll prove yourself in no time. I'm hard-working too, as you might suspect. <laughs> but sometimes I think I should have been a Ravenclaw. I've rather a searing wit. <laughs> At least people have always told me so. I'm Lenora, by the way. Lenora Everly. Well, mustn't keep you. You've such a lot to do. Uh, you think you should have been a Ravenclaw? Do you really think you should have been in Ravenclaw? Well, my brothers were. They both work in the ministry now. I suppose you could say that wit runs in the family. My aunt was a Gryffindor, though, and I've always had plenty in common with her. Determination, valor, daring. The old sorting hat was spoiled for choice with me. <laughs> All right, nice it was to nice meet, meet you, you, Lenora. Of course. Adieu. What's happening here? Are you good? Oh, 
Mouth has got you. You don't need to be right. frightened, <gasps> little girl. Kitty! Oh my god, give him to uh, you. Give, give him uh, here. Give I him here. I can't quite reach. Uh, Come oh. on. You went that way. I want a cat. Hope they can catch him. Big castle for a student to get lost in, let alone a cat. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find your way, all right? I mean, it can be a bit overwhelming at first. I still get lost sometimes. <laughs> Welcome to Hufflepuff, by the way. Really glad to have you in our house. I'm Arthur. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Was that your cat? No, one of the first years, I think. Don't have any pets of my own, unfortunately. My mother doesn't think too highly of them, especially magical ones. How rude. Shame, I think magical beasts are incredible. I'm sorry to hear that. I think magical beasts are rather incredible. Best thing about coming to Hogwarts. Nifflers, Glumbumbles, Bowtruckles. I thought they were only pictures in books before. Well, Dad did bring home a puff skein once. <laughs> Mum was furious. <laughs> anyway, I better go make sure the first years caught that cat. Don't want them to be late on their first day. Uh, good luck. Nice meeting you, Arthur. <laughs> and good luck finding that cat. Thank you. Try not to get lost in the castle yourself. They really did do that man dirty with his voice. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, kitty. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm breaking shit. Oh, my God. He's literally trying to... <laughs> Hello, miss. Oh, uncle. This doesn't sound like you. Something's wrong. Oh, hello there. Hello. You're the new Hufflepuff, yes? I'm Adelaide. Pleasure to meet you. Nice I like you already. You too. Is everything all right? Oh, yes. I'm just a bit distracted. Letter from my uncle. So tell me, I've been hearing all sorts of rumors. Were you really nearly gobbled up by a dragon? Uh, yes. That one is true. Not the typical start to a new school. That's mm. dreadful. Well, I'm glad you made it here alive. Well, anyway, I imagine you have lots to do. I hope you have a wonderful first day. She's the first normal person we've met. Okay. <laughs> Are you sure everything is all right with your uncle? Oh, yes. He travels for work, always busy. I'm sure he just wrote it in a rush. Um, nothing to worry about. All right. Thank you, Adelaide. Be seeing you. Of course. And good luck. Is Dude. the new Hufflepuff out of bed yet? Professor Weasley's waiting for them outside the common room. Well then. Oh, you know everything. Oh, look at that dancing cactus. So cute. Alright. Let's go around, I guess. We're leaving. Hello. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. My owls. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. Oh. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Oh, what's Here this? Here you are. Just like uh, everything I need to know about Hogwarts. <laughs> oh. Well, God damn. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise Look at my little to take full hands. advantage of this <laughs> exceptionally valuable resource. Sweet. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Alright. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'm following. I'm following. This way. 
The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. Oh, chest. I me. certainly would have appreciated something like a field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. Yes, ma'am. Uh, are we? I want to know. Are we going to be able to like change the way our wand looks? Like, I want all the customization ops and options. You know, Simply eating all the apples. on it, and we'll see what the guide says. On what? On this. Revelio. Hello. House Elf Recipe Book. Remember to contain some of Helga Hufflepuff's original creation creations. I can't talk. <laughs> this book holds a collection of Hogwarts students' favorite recipes over the centuries. Some dishes like pickled dir dir dirigible plums. Oh my gosh. Just unlocked a field guide challenge. Progress towards completing challenges appear here. Okay. Gold guide challenges are the only way to acquire exp experience points or XP. Field guide, here we go. This is your wizarding level. XP earned from challenges increase your level and power. Your field guide tracks your current challenge prog progress. Select the challenges menu to continue. Oh god. Selecting your first guide page unlocked a new challenge. Challenges unlocked throughout your adventure will appear here. Select field. Okay. Just like Red Dead, you got challenges. <laughs> each challenge has tiers. Special rewards unlock at each tier you complete. From okay, from appearances to critical upgrades. Okay, so I got fucking glasses for that one. All right. Kind of cool. Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that inside and outside of the castle. Yes, ma'am. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. All right, map. Oh, is this fast traveling? Oh, look at that. Hogwarts is divided into two main- Oh, look at the Quidditch freaking arena. The left side of the map is where students and professors live and includes the house, common rooms, and the Great Hall. Alright, Great Hall region. Gotcha. Oh, I see. There's like little markers and- Okay. So the Great Hall region. Right. Select. In this view, you can see the flu flames available in that region. Green flu flames represent flames you have discovered, including your own house, common room. Gray flu flames reveal the location of undiscovered flames. The right side of the map is where you'll find academic points of interest, including the astronomy tower, library, and greenhouses. Select the library and it. Okay. Mm -hmm. There you go. She unlocked these ones already. Okay. R to rotate the map. Central hall. Travel. Mm, okay. Interesting, interesting. We got loading screens. And here we are. <laughs> Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Nice. Look at that. Always something happening here. So it's the pretty. heart of the hive. Our King's Cross station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Ooh, yeah, Hogsmeade. Uh, tell me about Charms class? What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. <laughs> I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. All right. What exactly is a defense against the dark arts? Can you tell me more about the defense against the dark arts class? Defense against the dark arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. All right. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only 
Visiting all Wizarding Village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. Yeah. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. How cute. Butterbeer. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day. And you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically yeah. about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Uh, I do want to go to Hogsmeade, I think. If we can go there first, I definitely want to go there first. Uh, I'm afraid there isn't, there is in fact, wait, is there more to the story than a search for belongings? I'm gonna keep to myself for now. He told me not to tell anybody, so. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Hello. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. You already told Good that girl. Oh my god. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. Thank you, miss. invaluable to me as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. All right, all right. Talk too much. <laughs> it's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you... Masterfully evade Professor Masterfully, Weasley's interrogation yeah, mm -hmm. regarding our late arrival. You did, sir. I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Yes, sir. Open the quest log. Open map. Here we go. That icon represents main quest. Completing main quest will further the story, unlock new features, and grant XP. Gotcha. Some quests are locked by spell and or level requirements. In the case, in these cases, you will need to be required uh, the required level and or have the required spell to activate the quest. Cool, cool. Kind of like Witcher. Uh, new spells can be earned by completing professor's assignments or as a quest reward. Okay. Track a quest with X. All right. Uh, dark arts charms class. Let's go to the charms class. I want to learn all the bullshit. The map is <laughs> enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. 
Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. All right. Quest complete. Welcome to Hogwarts. Cast Charmed Compass. Oh, okay, so we gotta follow the book. That's kind of cool. Shut up. <laughs> I didn't find her. Ooh, hello, you're good looking. Ooh, yeah, play music for me. Can I emote? So pretty. Hello, I'm outside. I want to learn. I want all the secrets. All the secrets, please. While we travel. Yeah, I can book it. Look at me book it. What's good? Alright. Oh, hello. Found another flame. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. <laughs> Alright. Hello. Look at all the people. <gasps> oh my goodness, hello? Oh my good gracious. Who is this man interrupting my time with my this cat? Can I please have this cat? Oh my gosh, let me have you. Oh my god, please, please, let me just take you, like, pick you up and take you, please, please. You will be mine, you will be mine one day. One more, one more. Game lets you pet cats, 10 out of 10. Game of the year right here, boys. And the game even has cats. Wow. You're so cute, I love you so much. Please let me have you. <gasps> yes. Oh my gosh. You are strutting your stuff. Look at you go. Yeah. You do your thing. <laughs> first class, baby, first class. Get in my way, bitch. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. Again. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. All right. Here. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Oh, how nice of you. Thank, thank you. God. I was like, please tell me we're going to make friends. <laughs> Hello. I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Oh, hello. Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident <laughs> that we will take hold with what a, a guy. passion and rigor requisite of such a yeah. challenge. He's right now, passionate. everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the Color change and growth charms. Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Oh. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm. Hmm? Hmm. Well, <laughs> it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Ooh, Only okay. one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Let's do this. I'm ready. All right. We 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 we. Yeah. Akio. Yeah. That is not bad. 
Thank you, thank you. You are a swift learner. I see you know, a lot just, of like, potential, special. but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, <laughs> as you all seem to this have one the basics did a great down, job. and it's an exceptionally <laughs> lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. <laughs> okay. I hope we can make friends. <sighs> I don't want people to hate me. I don't want to bully. I've always found Please. that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> So, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> Goddamn! <laughs> Ooh, mini game. So why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Yeah, way to embarrass me in front of everybody, bro. I'm gonna get bullied. All right. Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. All right. Now, I think it is like gobstone. Excellent. Oh. Not to worry. Okay, wait. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta understand. So I gotta hit this and then. Very good. Oh, I see. Splendid. I see. Okay. 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 You gotta just like. Very good. Points to Hufflepuff. Yeah. But there's certainly no sport in <laughs> playing without out. some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Oh, God. Come on up. Really? You oh, my God. Just as before. And Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, you go first. Go for it. Here we go. Well then, aren't you a show off? Very 50. Good. All right, well, um, I still don't really understand this. Let go, let go, let go, let go, let go, let go, let go. Yeah, you know, I meant, yeah, mm-hmm. Like a, like a boss. Like a, like a boss. Hey, yo. All right, all right, all right. All right. My turn. Fuck. Nicely done. Thanks, What's miss. Pl please fuck up the last one. Oh yeah, turn. Yeah, hit mine. Please hit mine. Oh come on, dude. She got all of hers in fifty. That is how it's done. This is how it's done. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. 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 Ooh. That's it. Man, you Aha. Oh. <laughs> we were friends before, but now we're not anymore. <laughs> Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? What are we doing now? Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. Yeah, all right, miss. You're gonna let me win, right? <laughs> I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. She's got boots. I want this boots. I'm tired of these ugly all. shoes, bro. Here we go. Solid, solid. Don't get. Oh, oh. All right, all right. I'm nervous. Phew. Come on. Okay, this is what we do. 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 Okay, hold on. Do not think I will start going easier than that. Oh god. Oh I pushed it too far. That god damn it. Uh. Don't don't look. Don't you don't don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. God damn it. Uh. Fine, I got it this time. I got it this time. This is what we want to do. Is we want to push hers off the thing. Fuck! It's gonna hit mine. It's gonna hit mine. Very good. 
Uh, this is hurting me. Don't. Don't do it. You can't see. Alright, we're gonna try and knock all her shits off, okay? Okay? This is how we win. This is how we win. This is how we win. Well done. I don't like you. <laughs> good both of you well no. done i did terrible class is dismissed gather your things on the way out can i have a pet now well done back there you took the loss in stride didn't want to go too easy on you uh -huh. took me weeks to become proficient with akio took weeks for me to get anything right when i transferred here it gets easier i promise oh I'm glad you understand. That's good to hear. I need it's friends. It's a lot to take in all at once. <laughs> to put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Wow. Uh, the magic same at Uganda? This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand? Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. <laughs> I look so cool doing it. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. All right. Of course, you can. You All right. Hello. A word, if you would. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. All right. First class student, yeah, we did it. So we level two, baby. Did I unlock anything? So we unlock this legend. Oh, this legendary cape. Oh, for completing four main quests, we got legendary gloves. So I'll claim that. All right, inventory gear, and where we got gloves. I guess we can wear gloves. Sure, why not? We got those ugly glasses. <laughs> Headwear. Oh my god, my bangs are gone. No, don't do that. Cloaks and robes. Beige scarf. Traditional school robe. Outfit. Oh god. I'm naked. <laughs> I can unequip my robe if I wanted to. Yeah. It's kind of cool. What I want is different shoes, to be honest. Maybe that that's what comes with the outfit. Yeah, I want different shoes. Okay, wand handles. That's good to know. Flying mounts. Broom upgrades. Yes. Oh, okay, I see. I can wear this. 
I can wear this. I can wear this. That's the dark art stuff. I don't know if I want that. So I'm gonna go with this. I think I like this a little bit more. Invisible garb. Right, we're gonna go with that. I like that more. We also have this dark arts rope. Oh, that's sick though. That is so cool. Ugh, I might... Maybe we'll change it a little bit later, but I'm gonna keep it to the basic stuff for now. Alright, interesting. We also got these gloves. And we got these gloves. Dark Arts Legendary Gloves. I like those. We'll keep that. This way. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Samantha Dale. I guess I'll talk to you. Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Well, thanks, that's kind of you to say. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. All right. Hell yeah. Is that all you've got? Oh, Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. Damn. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today, we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprise yeah, opponent tell is a weak him. opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? Yeah, bitch. <laughs> One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, Let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. All right. We, 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 we. Levioso. Levioso. There we go. We're so good. Now. Let's try something a little larger. Nice. I'm scared. I get I'm in front of people. Let us begin. Make me nervous. With basic cast. Uh basic cast. <laughs> See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent, as Master Poet so artfully helped me demonstrate earlier. So, nice. The basic cast. Well done. There you go. Nice. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your He's kind of cute. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> but I'm gonna I fucking wipe the floor with his ass. Only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. <laughs> All right. You look. Uh, I mean, what? This should be easy. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> 
Bitch. Bitch, 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 bitch. Yeah, I like that. Come on, bitch. <laughs> bitch. You get wrecked. <laughs> he fell. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Hufflepuff. Thank yeah. you, Professor Heckert. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Thank you, thank you, thank you. She's so nice. All right. That's All enough spectacle right. for one day. Class is dismissed. I can go talk with him if I want to. Hello, who are you? I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. Ooh, her accent. Nice work. Hello. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Uh, I've had my fair share of wand combat. It was never used my wand combat. Uh, that's, let's lie. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. I mean, I guess it was Be coy, a if you like, first but I know duel. better. Magic requires intention right. and I'm talent. <laughs> you know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned? Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. All right. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck. Or actual skill. It was skill, Look my guy. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Sure, sure, sure. Till next time. All right. Now I want to go to Hogsmeade. I want my wand. I also want my, my broom. If I get a broom, that'd be nice, too. <gasps> Another cat? Oh, my goodness gracious. You're adorable. Hi. You guys already know. I'm going to stop to pet every cat I see. There's no stopping me. I must make sure all the cats feel loved. You're so cute. So precious you so much. You're so good. Oh, you're so good. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Please let me pick you up and take you home with me. Please, you want to. You're going to want to. I'll protect you. You're so cute. Oh, the purring. <laughs> Hello. What about the room, Professor? Oh, he's cute. I was thinking the same <laughs> thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Ugh. Oh, excuse, Deke. Excuse, ah, Dobby. There you are. Hello, miss. Take me to Hogsmeade. Give me my wand. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Um. Uh. No, none, Professor, no. Nothing more, Professor. I see. <laughs> Nothing at all. I tried to get a sonnet from a streeler. 
Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Uh, yeah. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier. Yes, please. Yes, please. We've arranged please. to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Uh, spells crafts, so there really is. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. All right, well, I'm ready to go. I want to get my wand. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. What do we want? All right, I say crime boy. Let's go with Sebastian. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard, and he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Thank you. All right, let's go. So after I do this quest, I can go? Speak to Professor Ronan to receive your first assignment. Assignments are types of quests given to you about Hogwarts professors that, when completed, rewards you with new spells. The rewards for completing your first assignment will be the Mending Charm, which is repair required to complete other quests. You can track assignments in their progress. Okay. Gotcha, mate. Gotcha. And then I can go to Hogsmeade. <gasps> you look so cute. Oh my god. Please. This game is tempting me. Why? The game's like, oh, you miss having a cat here. Here's all the cats you could ever want. Come here. <laughs> I'm gonna hurt you in the way I live the one. You're gonna come with me. No, no. The cat. Get the cat, please. <laughs> Take him with us. Oh, that's not what I want to do. That's not what I want to do. Come back. Come back. Come back, cat. I didn't mean to hurt you. I love you. Let me pet you. <laughs> a large boy. They, these cats are pretty expensive. Alright, this time I got it. This time I got it. This time I'm not gonna hurt you. Ready? <gasps> oh my god, can I do- <laughs> Why is- <laughs> Why did he get levitated like that? Come back, let me love you, let me love you. <laughs> he stretched out, like, all his legs. Just like, oh, help. <laughs> I love you. I apologize. I will get you one day. You will, you will be mine. Okay. <laughs> ah, there you are. Uh, hello. Let's do her damn freaking quest. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed, I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Reparo, fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. All right. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. All right. 
Collect the flying papers near the broken statue. Collect the flying papers in the defense. Defense. Okay, let's go look in here. So this is the right area. I wonder where the flying pages. They're right here. Do I have to hit them or do I have to levitate them? Levitate. Oh. Do I want to do this? I'm not sure what I want to do. Stay still. Uh, there we go. Okay, I was doing the wrong spell. Alright, next one. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Brilliant. Yeah, I'm so good. <laughs> this man. He's having the time of his life over there. <laughs> Hello, I've got all the things. I trust the preliminary tasks work. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, yes sir. sir. Oh, <laughs> yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your mm. magic. There you go. Alright. New spell, baby. Mending charm can be used to mend the broken objects and pieces in the environment. That's it. Very good. If you would Sweet. like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. I got it. All right. We got it. We got it. We're getting things done. I will definitely be like exploring this a shit ton. Probably off camera more. <laughs> um. But for now, I just want to, like, get into the main area, get all the, like, basic stuff done. So that way I can, like, roam and, like, do what I want to do and explore and all that stuff. So I'm just trying to get all the basics done with. Hey, boy. Well, that's easy. Hold on. I need this. Ooh, there's a chest over here. Take that. And then is there another one here? Hello. Level one lock. Hi. Oh, there's one right here. Yeah. Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. I'm out. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides. Then. Please tell me I'm gonna get a broom. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? Yeah. Ooh, how pretty. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. <laughs> Alrighty. Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. Oh my god. Spend a lot of time in detention, do you? He's a bad Just boy. to keep me well-rounded. So we're gonna be running there? <laughs> Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. Glad I could be of service. I see animals. The librarian was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, 
and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. So how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Oh. Interesting. Gotcha. Oh my god. <laughs> How cute. They're making my controller vibrate. <laughs> That's cute. If I was a flower, I'd be that one. <laughs> What a fucking nerd. Merlin's beard from the Forbidden Forest. Look. What's going on? Oh, see for yourself. shit. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that every day. Oh, man. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. How pretty. To the left is the Forbidden Forest. Out of bounds to all students. Oh, we're going to be going in there. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. <laughs> ah, you can see Hogsmeade just past those ruins up ahead. Look how pretty, guys. Holy shit. Look at this. Wow. Have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? A little. It's positively enormous. <laughs> it is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see places to discover oh any you'd like to share with the class perhaps one day i can't go around telling you all my secrets now can i you still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling look how pretty uh, oh my god ah so good dude so good games are so pretty i've always thought thestrals pulling a carriage a bit grim Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most most <laughs> Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as a sure what I just got. Moonstone. And don't mind me, I'm just picking up shit <laughs> that looks valuable. <gasps> oh my god, another cat! Hi! Sorry, I have to pet the cat. Can I, like, maybe use this other spell on him? Hold on, wait. Hi. Sir, I have a something to do. Wait. No, it doesn't let me. <laughs> this poor cat. Let me apologize, let me apologize. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Mr. Moon. He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello. We talking Hello, to him? Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Why? Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes oh, big as saucers. What the hell? What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys. Ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. What? Hey. Demi guys. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Yeah. Not sure if I'll need that, Mr. but I'm Moon taking it. Quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. What are these oh, other? Is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. All right. Yay, Hogsmeade! We're here, boys. Other cat. Oh my god, all the cats are just greeting me today. Hi. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place, I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. Cool. How oh, pretty. 
<laughs> thank, thank you, mods, by the way. What was that? Oh, how cute, how cute. Hog's head. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get, a wand and some other bits. Yes, Dittany seeds, some spell crafts, and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with a new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. All right. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. <laughs> Hogsmeade Village is brimming with different sites, shops, and other points of interest that you can navigate using your field, field guide map. All right. Wow, look at that. You can track any of these by selecting an icon, pressing X. What is this? Sort sporting needs, sporting good shop that sells a variety of brooms. We definitely need a broom. Uh, clothing shop. Uh, hairdressing salon. Be supplies. Yes, we need to learn how to freaking uh get some some beasts, please. We're gonna get our wand first, though. What is this? Scrolls. Okay. Let's get our wand. Get that. How cute. Hello. Look at all the wands. Look at this. How cool. Hello. Spin. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um. Oh my god, he looks like the guy from Drillville. Just Drill a moment, please. <laughs> uh, mm. Hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, I... About time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you. Truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Yeah. Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Something um, purple. <laughs> ah, yes. Yes. Mm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Mm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. Oh, man, I'm probably not going to get the same one wand either, huh? Well, go ahead. I didn't Swish. connect my... Pot or more stuff. Oh. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh. Okay. Oh, God. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um. We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, the purple one, the purple one. <laughs> perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon, dragon. heart string. Okay, that is similar to what I had, actually. Let's I give this one a try. I had like a dragon heart string, I want to say. Oh, oh God. Oh, goodness. <sighs> Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Not that one, all right. <sighs> This is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Oh, is it gonna let me customize it? Oh god. Okay. There's wand style. Finalize wand. Okay, wand style. Variations. How intriguing. Ah, okay, okay. And then we got these. Notched. 
Soft spiral, ash brown. That's kind of cool. Curious indeed. Wood type. Oh god, black walnut, ebony. How intriguing. Dragon heartstring, unicorn, phoenix. Oh, I forgot which one I got. Let me look up my Pottermore stuff. Hold on. Okay. Vine wood with phoenix core. 11 inches. How intriguing. And slightly yielding flexibility. But I think I'm going to go with this one. I think I like this Curious one the most. Indeed. 11 inches, vine. All right, phoenix feather, slightly yielding. I think we got it. I think this is it. What do you think? Oh. I've got the power. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> Hell yeah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Sweet. Uh, we're done here. We have our wand. Next up is... Tom's oh god. Next up is Tom's and Scrolls, Potions and Magic Leap. Okay.